for all your hemp wellness needs, information, products, parties, and merch, visit thebudplug.com. It's Mike Ross, also known as Mike on the Mic. He's getting ready for his upcoming 2022 comedy run. He'll be kicking it off at Vinnie Brand's Dress Factory Comedy Club. Caroline's on Broadway. Punchline Philly. You don't want to miss him take the stage at the DC Improv. Then he'll be coming to the Atlanta Improv. And at Chocolate Sunday's Comedy Show in Los Angeles, California. It's Mike on the mic. Looking forward to seeing you there. What up, what up, y'all? It's your man Sam. And here at Vile Hip Hop News, go ahead and hit that like button. Smash that notification bell. And if you're not subscribed to Vile Hip Hop News, ladies and gentlemen, what are you waiting for? Subscribe right now to the brand. Appreciate each and every one of y'all, and let's get to work. All right, y'all see the good brother Chameleon there on the screen, Houston native, dope rapper, even better businessman, has transitioned his life out of the hip-hop game into the business world, and his business acumen far supersedes anything he did in music, and for that, I salute him. I love showing these videos on Viral Hip Hop News. I like finding these hidden gems of former artists or current artists giving people the game on how they leveraged the industry, how they got out of the industry, how they got out of a bad contract, how they understood the chess game and played chess that much better than the powers that be. I absolutely love showing these videos because, hey, I got artists, I got executives, I got people in the independent realm who need this type of information when dealing with motherfuckers who are out to get their bread. So shout out to Afrotech.com because when I found this on Afrotech.com, it was Chameleon there on a panel speaking about how he leveraged his way out of Universal and how he threatened them to give information to other people, which kind of gave them the motivation to get him out even faster. I'm going to play the clip of what Chameleon there had to say. Then I'll come back on my one too. Hope y'all enjoy. Let's go. The state of the music industry is designed to rip off an artist. I believe that when the check gets handed to an artist, the check is normally not right. Nelly told me, you know, you got to learn how to do this thing called an audit. So I searched, I found Jay-Z's auditor, right? So he goes and he finds over $600,000 that the label hid from me. I was like, wait a second, is this the way it always is? He's like, yeah, you got to keep on doing this. So I realized all my peers <laughs> didn't know this. And the way I got off of Universal when they didn't want to let me go is I told them, if you don't let me go, I'm going to go teach all these guys on the label how to do an audit. <laughs> and they let me go because of that. They didn't want to pay all that money. See, when you understand how to play the chess game, when you understand that this is chess, not checkers, and you start calling people out on certain things or kind of taking your career in your own hands and start leveraging in a way that these suckers can't screw you out, then you start seeing the power. Shout out to Chameleon there for not accepting a couple of pennies to grab a couple of whips and a couple of chains and, and entertain a couple of females. No, he wanted to know how these buildings are staying up. And if I'm contributing to these buildings staying up, where the hell is my piece of the foundation that's keeping this building up? And the second he said, you know what? If y'all don't tell me where my piece is, I'm going to let people know that they all have pieces in this building and they all deserve their piece of their foundation. And then he got what he wanted. It's absolutely a beautiful thing. And it goes on in the industry right now when we're seeing all these celebrity deaths or hip-hop deaths and things like that. And now we're starting to hear more and more that these labels have insurance policies out on these artists. Well, I challenge these artists before they get into the game or when they start grabbing a nice piece of change, look in your contract and see if there's an insurance policy taken out on you. And before you sign a contract on them having insurance on you, why don't you go take insurance out on yourself? And then why don't we educate our brothers that aren't out here famous, that can't dribble a ball, that can't rhyme a lyric, that ain't going to be on TV entertaining. How about they develop and gain life insurance as well? Take a piece of your hard-earned money, and instead of going out and buying Jordans, put that per month in life insurance, and maybe the police will think it's not okay to begin killing us when people have to start paying out life insurances. You see what I'm saying? Let's hide the food within the candy Let's really start making a difference for real. Shout out to Chameleon there for dropping these gems like he always does. This may be a protect them at all costs video. And for the people that rocked with my Young Thug video, not Young Thug, excuse me, Slim Thug video, y'all already know what protect at all costs means. We got to keep this information alive. We got to keep this information well. And we got to protect 
our brands, protect ourselves, protect our gold and our worth. Because if we don't, who will? Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of what the good chameleonaire had to say, the jewels that he dropped. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. Like, comment, and if you deem this video worthy enough for a share, drop it on your Facebook, drop it on your Instagram, drop it on your social media handles. I appreciate each and every one of y'all for y'all support. I see it, and I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Until next time, until next story, Sam Ant, CEO of the Brent, Viral Hip Hop News. Love y'all, love yourselves, and I'm out of here. Peace.